Anybody knows what this is? This is an elevator lever. This is how all elevators used to work with. You'd have human operators pushing those, deciding when the elevator goes up, when it goes down, when it stops, when people get out. The problem with anything that humans do is that sometimes they make mistakes. And when the elevator operators made mistakes, people would get hurt. So, elevator companies started putting in buttons, safety stops, sensors. And soon enough, we didn't really need elevator operators inside the elevator. But still, this operator is pressing buttons. Why is he doing that? He's doing that because it took years for people to get comfortable traveling in this elevator that goes up and down without a human driver inside. Today, people are much more comfortable doing that. And autonomous vehicle technology is getting to that point. This is an autonomous shuttle. This is actually happening. It's driving without a driver in Switzerland. This shuttle is driving over 60,000 people today. This is Reykjavik in Iceland. To get from that green dot to the blue dot, you have to cross all that body of water. It takes over 40 minutes with a car, but an autonomous drone can do that in less than half the time. And a company called Flytrex is doing that these days. This is really happening, drone deliveries, autonomous drone deliveries in Iceland. This is an autonomous robotics platform. Not only that, but it's also open source, so any developer can adapt it to their needs. This is Baidu's open source autonomous car. And all these aerial vehicles are powered by an autonomous autopilot called PX4. It's also open source. So, what is the problem then? The problem is that the companies at the forefront of autonomous technology are designing their solutions as individual networks. Waymo is designing its own network, and Uber its own network, and Lyft its own network. Their own users, their own vehicles, their own applications, their own developers. If this reminds you of something, it's because we've seen that before. This is how the internet used to look like in the 1990s. These were the companies at the forefront of technology. You had CompuServe, you had Prodigy, you had AOL. You would pay them a subscription and go on to their version of the internet. It was only when we decided on an open protocol for how internet traffic is formatted and sent and received that we enabled this explosion of innovation. So, we at DAV would like to do the same thing with transportation. Instead of isolated silos by each vehicle company, we're creating a decentralized network. A network that is not owned by any company, but on which every company can participate, can collaborate, can innovate. The DAB Open Protocol defines how vehicles and users communicate with each other, discover each other, and a token through which they transact with each other. The DAB Open Source Platform is available on GitHub. We have a community of developers working on it. It's designed to be easily integrated into any autonomous vehicle platform. It's written in any language that developers are used to working with, and it enables them to connect their vehicles to the blockchain without knowing anything about blockchain. This is one example of an application developed using the DAV open source platform. This happens to be a drone delivery app. You have a user requesting bids from drones nearby, completely peer-to-peer, -peer, no company in the middle. Drones submit their bids, submit their pricing in DAV tokens, the user accepts, the smart contracts are signed and the mission is on the way and when it's finished, the tokens are transferred. We've started the DAV Alliance. It's a list of commercial companies who are integrating the DAV protocol and the DAV platform into their vehicles. We have companies in robotics, we have companies in drones, we have even maritime vehicles joining. Our team and advisors come from the world's top tier organizations including Ethereum, including Google, including even NASA. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to build something that is truly, truly world-changing. I invite you to join us, visit our website. If you have any questions, I'll be in the back of the room for the next hour. Thank you very much.